the blood cells inside our body have important function. Hence, as a human, we need to know how to count the blood cells inside our body. The red blood cell is used for transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The white blood cells are part of the body's defenses against infection and foreign substances. The platelets are involved in the clotting of blood. The red blood cells in the blood consist of hemoglobin. When the body produces too many red cells, the amount of hemoglobin in the blood increases and a chronic disease called polycythemia or dehydration is produced. When the hemoglobin in the blood decreases, then it leads to anemia. The anemia can cause headache and giddiness. The amount of hemoglobin which is mandatory for men is 130 to 170 gram per liter and for women it is 120 to 160. Due to infinite size of blood cells, they make up a portion of the total blood volume. The volume percentage of red cells in a given volume of blood can indicate the various diagnostic information to the physician. To determine the relative proportion of blood cell in the given volume of blood, hematocrit or pad cell. Now, let us see about the blood cell counter which is used to count automatically and the counter display. The blood sample is actually placed in a test tube which is spun so that the cells are packed at the bottom under centrifugal force provided by the centrifuge. Thus, the packed cell volume is the ratio between the height of the packed cells and the height of the blood in the tube. Normally, the range of the packed cell volume for men is 42% to 54% and for women it is 37% to 47%. The number of blood, red blood cells is also counted using a microscope. Since the density of red blood cells is so large, the microscopic counting is time consuming. Therefore, we require an automated red blood cell counters. The method is based on the fact that red cells have higher electrical resistivity than the saline solution in which they are suspended. Here, we will be able to see the automatic blood cell counter using an electronic circuitry. A diluted blood sample is drawn through a small orifice having diameter less than 100 micrometer by means of a suction pump. The electrodes are placed such that one in surrounding sample chamber and the other in the suction blood. The electrodes are attached with the conductivity bridge such that the resistance forms one arm of the bridge. Before suctioning, the resistance of the electrode arm is equal to R. But after suction of blood, it is going to be the additional of the resistance, that is R plus del R or the R out, since del R is going to be greater than the R. The next one diagram is the counter display in terms of impulses. The impulses having highest peaks are fewest in number. These are due to WBCs which makes the highest resistance change in the orifice. The RBCs are represented by the peaks between threshold T1 and T2. During the operation of the instrument, the threshold is first set to 0 and the counter output is given by the total number of particles WBCs and the RBCs together with the platelets per liter. Then the next step is to set the threshold to T1 and now the counter gives total number of RBCs and WBCs per liter. And last the threshold is set to T2 and the counter just reads only the WBC count per liter. Now we will be able to see the laser blood cell counter. This principle of laser based blood cell counting is a modern technique which gives the number of RBCs, WBCs and platelets, hematocrit, mean cell volume of red blood cell and concentration of hemoglobin. The basic principle behind this technique is the angle of scattered light intensity is different for different sized particles. The sample blood is heavily diluted hence it can reduce the number of particles counted to one at a time. 
A sheet fluid here is directly directed around the blood stream to confine it to the center of aperture through which a laser beam is passed. Now, the blood cells are illuminated by the laser light and they scatter light. The scattering angles of platelets and red blood cells are having large difference so that the scattered light from these two types of cells are directed into two different photo detectors. The output of the photo detector is given to a properly calibrated digital voltmeter which gives the density of red blood cells or the platelets. How to separate this? To separate a white blood cell from the RBC, we need to destroy the red blood cells within a lysing agent. Hence, this frees the hemoglobin from the blood and the concentration of the hemoglobin can also be measured. After the separation of the hemoglobin, once again the measurements are made. By with this way, the concentration of white blood cells too can be measured. Hope every one of you has come to know how we are measuring the blood cells inside our body. Thank you.